Hey there, everybody. This is Broishi, and we are back in the underground. And I had a couple problems with this particular video. As the first time, my computer just kind of up and randomly decides to crash. And then the second time, I completely forgot to turn on OBS to, to record. So, uh, yeah. Here we are, going into Transylvania to fight Dracula to get a program ship. So, Dracula's now some kind of cyber demon of sorts now. So, here we got the goal. Easy stuff here. This goes in a straight line. You know it won't stay this easy. It never does. And the dev commentary. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use these 8-bit tiles for the first area of Gate 3. Not that Clashing Sprites has ever been a, been a bother to me when making this series, but these in particular always looked extra odd. Spooky scary skeletons, eh? Speaking of spooky scary skeletons... Panther Skeleton! It works like the ghouls except it's shorter and faster. Which means it's more annoying. Eh, I got no comment on for this thing. Castlevania had those panthers in the first level. Which is why these things were... Well, why these things were used. The original panthers had... Had a small leap... To, the original Panthers had a small leap when they reached the easy end of a platform, which I decided against. So yeah, I never the first the closest thing to Castlevania one that I've ever got to experience like literally was Castlevania Harmony of Despair. Where I believe I used to use Soma a lot, you know, to get the I mean, I was like 100% uh, junky at the time. I think I still kind of am. But I think I might have to drop that for the sake of professionalism and let's playing. I don't know. I don't even think I'm really that professional anyways in this. But, yeah. The very first Castlevania on the map on Castlevania HD. Which... It's still probably one of the hardest and longest maps in the game. Because you have to go through the entire thing like you would in the actual game. Like, there are no shortcuts. It's not just a series of rooms that are just there. Okay, let's see what this says. Oh. Click it. Bone Pillar. Remember these? Well, they're back. Same as before. When you see them flash, they're about to fire off a uh, well some fire. They have a lot of HP, so I recommend using their weakness if you have, have it available. Which I don't. The Bone Pillar, also known as the Pillar of Bones, has been a thorn in the side of many heroes in the Castlevania series. And is infamous for doing nothing more than standing still and breathing fire. I had a lot of fun picking up Thinking up the death animations for enemies like this. I feel just a simple detail like that can add a lot of charm to something. Plus it's just more satisfying to see these explode the way they do than to simply fade out as DT1 did to almost every enemy type. And yeah, they really did just kind of like catch on fire and fade away every time you killed stuff in DT1. Which I may play in the future, but because I started this first and kind of um, kind of picked up and dropped the ball constantly with this Let's Play right after its release, well, I'm just gonna do this one first and put Distorted Travesty One on the burner. Now, I may not even immediately get to that. Because I have some other ideas of things I want to play after I finish this game. Now, if you want my very, 
No, wait a second. There's going to be a skeleton over here. I've already been through this scenario a couple times to see... Oh, great. Not a bone pillar is blocking it. Hey, get back there. Bone skeleton. Moves about a bit and will throw a bone in an arc. Skeletons make up a large part of Dracula's army and are a basic enemy type seen in the Castlevania series. Yep, another recycled enemy from DT1. Hey, I couldn't j I couldn't help it. They worked well and were just sitting there, waiting to be used. You will, however, see a lot more variety in the Castlevania enemies this time around. Keep going! Keep going, they, along with the bosses, are a lot better than in DT1. Okay, yeah, I'm recording. Um, and I share that sentiment quite... Nice. Quite gladly. Now, if you want my very first experience with Castlevania, it was on my Game Boy Advance when I borrowed Circle of the Moon from a kind of relative of mine. Kind of a stepbrother of sorts. And, you know, I kind of got through it fine. It's like, I, at the time, I did not even know that this was actually one of the hardest Castlevania games in the series. And I just kind of went through it, got some cards, beat Dracula. Though, I guess he was a little hard, but it's, I guess it was something I expected for a final boss. Now, before I move on here, um... When the demo was out, I used to have this thing where I would try to throw, after I beat this gate, I would throw, wait, I would use Jerry, throw a bomb up here, and then try to do a very precise dash jump, which, we, yeah, spoilers, we'll be getting, a, getting the dash ability here. So yeah, with J Jerry's dash jump, I would be able to reach that item up there pretty early. Where a lot of stuff would require... Where that item would just later require the uh, air dash ability, which you don't get here. Yeah, dashing and air dashes are in two different places. So, let's go. Oh, I forgot to read the little window. Yes, this is the normal room. Nothing will surprise you here. That probably would have had a stronger effect if I did that in the beginning of the room. Because, looky! Large vampire bat. This large bat waits a moment while it gets a, tar gets a target on you. Then after a moment, it will strike the, like the spot you are in at the moment. It has a few more tricks up its uh, wing, but nothing you can't handle. It actually works a lot like the original Castlevania boss in the first level. There's a few differences, obviously, from um, the virus takeover. One of the most basic bosses in Castlevania in your history. For the first boss at the gate, I didn't want something too difficult, as it's Claire's first few moments with melee combat. It couldn't be too easy either, since it's a decent amount of hours into the game. The result is this guy. Something that would possibly beat the player only a few times. Plus the giant bat was the first boss encounter of the Castlevania series. So yeah, let's get into this. Uh, it'd be nice if I had some knives and holy water, but I don't have that pleasure right now. Whoa, whoa I was about to say, you yeah, escape in the fight? <laughs> Is that like freaking Aaron from Undertale? Uh, yeah, he sure moves around a lot. Kind of hard to get a good, solid lock on him. Safely, anyways. Oh, boy. I'm a smooth... I was about to say smooth criminal. Ow. Ah! Oh 
Oh boy, oh boy. Let's see. Okay, almost there. Just be a little patient. Ow. Come on. There we go. First try. That was getting a little hairy. Hairy as a bat. <laughs> Kill me. Sweet death from above. Oh boy. One of my favorite tracks in Castlevania. You know, I would really like a little soundtrack change like they do in Harmony of Despair. I'd totally change it to Julius's theme. The Julius Belmont theme, which is basically Heart of a cool remix of Heart of Fire. Alrighty, up. Uh, Ghosty Goose. Ghosty Goose! Just a ghost. They really aren't that big of a threat. The only issue is they don't appear until you're somewhere somewhere close to them. Still not big of a threat. They move at, at a decent speed though. When one of these hits you, they drain a bit of heart energy. I bet Jeremy was thinking about band camp jokes because of the ghost of stories they used to tell there. <laughs> this, like the vampire bat, is another recycled DT1 AI. A few minor tweaks to the movement speed it were made, but that's about it. The ghosts in, in this are far faster than DT1, except if you played DT1 undistorted, though they were only a hair faster than this. I don't, I don't think I really got too far in distorted mode. As you can see, I probably wouldn't be able to get too far in distorted mode. Unless I was an absolute dedicated monster to this series. Which I am not. I mean, I help test it, but... It's like, I play a lot of different things. It's like, I I love video games too much to just be a specialist to any one kind. Well... Racing games can go F themselves. I mean, racing games as in, like, realistic racing games like NASCAR or... Actually, not just racing games, sports games in general. The only sports games I really like are stuff like Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart. Oh. I'd like to ask you a question. <laughs> okay, X9. It tries to keep itself at a reasonable distance and then... Lob axes at you. Or axe rings since they come back. What would you even call something like that? Oh, that one hallway with the axe knights was horrible. I didn't know that holy water could stun and insta-kill them back then. And phone call from an 800 number. See, I have my phone right next to me this time, so I don't have to worry about getting up and looking behind me. Ah, uh, okay, just a second. Yeah, I know! Okay, sorry about that. Um, right after I said that I don't need to answer the phone because it's just, uh, some telemarketer, my grandma busted in saying, your phone's ringing. Like I couldn't really hear, which, yeah, admittedly, I've had a bad history of not hearing some things because I have, like, headphones on. <clears throat> but she, she's a real nice lady and I, I love her to death with all my heart so anyways we got done reading Chow's comment and that, let's look at the dev commentary the hallway with these guys in the Medusa heads 
is an obvious nod to a part in the original Castlevania that brought me tons of headache. Who hasn't it brought headache to? <laughs> of course, with DT's mechanics, unless there are a few traps, it's not going to be as hectic. And I'm not going to reach for that level this early, early on in the game. That room is more like a nod to it. Yep, spoilers if you haven't reached, reached that room yet. This will be an incredibly rare occurrence. Alrighty, so... Yeah, apparently we got something to look forward to. Let's destroy this Axe Knight. You know, um... Part of one of my most recent things with an actual Castlevania title is having Castlevania Portrait of Ruin on my Nintendo DS, or rather, I got the Memon Dagger. This will definitely come in handy here. To use that, press the action button B. Finally, I got a ranged weapon. I'm gonna put this to good use. The big benefit of that, that is the damage is actually pretty good. While it doesn't have an arc, of, arc advantage of Jerry's arrows, it deals m more damage and the projectile velocity is super fast. Works for me. <laughs> yeah, I can throw knives now. Ow! Screw you, skeleton. Whoa, whoa. Ah. So yeah, Castlevania... Uh, freaking ghost! Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Those knives do a lot. And speaking of doing a lot of damage to Ghost, it's like, those were actually pretty annoying in Portrait of Ruin because you really didn't have a lot of holy stuff at the time. Especially, it's like when you first meet them in the uh, pyramid levels, you don't have a lot of holy stuff working with you. That could, like, Especially not the Vampire Killer, because Jonathan couldn't use it properly. Probably gonna need Air Dash for that. So, basically at that point, the Vampire Killer did not have its holy power and was incredibly weak. And they would become pretty annoying as they'd constantly spawn around you for a, like a certain number of times. Like after you kill so many, they just stop spawning. But, like, if you're in a hurry and you want to get past, like, some of those, uh, pyramid enemies, you kind of end up having to... dance around the air for a bit. <laughs> Trying to fend them off while also fighting the big enemy in your way. Or other... ghost. I forgot what they were called. But they're definitely not called Ghost. They have like the little blue outline. And But yeah, I just recently got through like... Richter's and... Maria Renard's play. Like... Years after I... A couple years after I actually started it. Cause like after... Clearing... Portrait of Ruin for like the first or second time. I just... Kinda stopped... Messing with the game because I was... I got into Get Am 2. I was playing uh, the hell out of that game. Heck, the only reason I'm probably not playing that right now is because I have no internet. And so a lot of Distorted Travesty videos, including this one, and finishing Undertale, has been my priority with my internet gone. So no telling how much of this stuff I'm actually going to get done by the time I get my inter ba internet back in a few days. Which... Ah, uh, Medusa's. Medusa head. Uh, it's... This... Really. There's nothing I can say about them that will, that will help you. Don't get hit by them. They drain hard energy when... And they hit you. No, actually, I don't think the heart energy draining thing was actually a thing. 
back back in the demos or even while I was testing which is interesting the Medusa heads in the Castlevania series is a games are infamous for knocking heroes off the platforms and causing no end of trouble for game players they're often considered to be one of the most annoying enemies in video game history and I can totally see that okay to me these to me are really iconic Castlevania enemy even in some of the later games where the protagonist had had screen filling attacks these sometimes presented a problem though the first Castlevania still shows them in their best light or is that their worst I don't know. What was I talking about before? Oh yeah, my internet. Mm. Basically, me and my family are kind of tight knit. We're not exactly like a bunch of loners. Like we kind of have a reason for kind of being around each other, though. At the same time, not everyone here is like really sociable or gets gets along with each other all the time so we get we have things happen here and there I mean of course what kind of family isn't like that in all reality but that really has nothing to do with the internet now basically we could have had some internet sooner but we kind of come to realize that we could get a cheaper deal by waiting a little longer. Ah, that was close. It looks like the Medusa stopped. And now they start again. Cool. Hmm. So yeah, I'm just basically waiting for that day. And then I get to upload all of these. Though you'll probably already be watching this. <laughs> so what we got here? Trying to cause us problems, I see. Who's there? I have a really bad feeling about this. That you should. For you, for you look upon death itself. Well, have fun with this guy, Clear. There won't be any stun locking with holy water this time. Terry, that was you that used that method. Turn back and maybe we can let you exist. I just need through here. I don't want any trouble. I cannot allow that. Your safe passage will hinder our continued existence and our plans. I don't understand. Of course you know how we escaped from the program's vault. You continue, your continued venture would put us back in we cannot allow that we the program sealed many bots in its vault after creating them these bots were made from the loose data it was fed of existing lands that's right the creators of the program used other games to test its ability to accept and adapt to new data they tested it on, on many of the old worlds. I am one of the bots created from these tests. And I was stuffed away into that accursed vault. When did that happen? That does not matter. Now that I am out of this, that place, I shall rain terror upon this world. Why? You seem to be aware of what all, what this all is. My awareness of the situation has no governance on my actions. 
It matters not. Our priorities conflict. Therefore, you must be stopped. Claire, I'm getting some really bad vibes from this guy. I don't think this is going to be anything like the original death. Be careful. I will not be your opponent today. No, I have something else in store for you. Your fate lies ahead. Enjoy your last moments. Well, that was interesting. He said he escaped from the vault. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that, that others, such as Cactida, also escaped from the vault somehow. We need to get rid of the virus as quick as we can. Who knows what else is in there? He creeps me out. So we just had a run in with death. Lovely. Death, who cast a shadow on. Wait. Wait a second. I, I did that wrong. Well, death, a shadow who cast a shadow on darkness itself. Uh, I don't know why I like saying that. You're in the inner part of the castle. I don't know what's going on with Death, but Dracula should be close by. If you can reach him, you can end all this. This castle sure was small. <laughs> yeah! Given how straightforward this was, this is a pretty small castle. So yeah, let's trash these skeletons. I'm thinking Dracula's defeat would be a good place to stop up this video. Feel like we've done a lot. Oh, I should probably break those actually. Oh! You have gained Belmont's holy water. Just a reminder. To use this, press the action button C. Jeremy, don't be like some games. We get it. I was just trying to be helpful. There's a point when games become too helpful. Don't cross the line. Ah, so yeah, we gotta flip these switches now. As much as I'd like to go in there, I can't because I don't have the air dash. Skeletons. There's a ton of skeletons. That's probably even worse than what Sans does most of the time. Oh, I'm the invisible man. I'm the invisible man. Incredible how you can, can, can see right through me. I, I, I can't do scat. Does nothing but seek you out. They're really durable, but if you use the right weapon, you can take them out easy. Ew, partially invisible enemies. This thing can give you some trouble when... And scanning it too. Not sure if they had any problems with that or not. Wait, not sure if you had any problems with that or not. Wow, I said they instead of you. Believe it or not, rip these. Believe it or not, I sometimes forget that I placed these. He's in the game, and I don't see them. I guess they did their job well. I've forgotten them sometimes too. Hmm. Okay, so let's deal with this guy. Yeah, the Invisible Men in the DS games, it's like... They get really super fast and brutal. Like, me recently just doing, uh... Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. It's like, they don't really appear much in that game, but... When they do, they can... Get fairly annoying. Ah, okay, wait, how do... What am I doing here? All oh, right, here we go. Up. Oh. I'm gonna do fists.
Oh, wait, I need to go back, actually. There's a little something I can probably do. Yeah, let's uh, try this. Probably gonna take a little precision on my part, but I'm pretty sure I can pull it. Ah. Uh. Too late. Awesome! And there we go. Oh dear, I completely forgot to use these points. I did it in my last uh, attempt at recording, but, you know, I forgot to press the record button. So let's use this stuff now. One, two, three, four. And I think I want to throw a little something on this. Five. Basically, I want to just leave enough that I can get the upgrade next AP level up. Which would be just a second, actually. I mean, the, the next final upgrade for the uh, whip damage. Sorry, my bad. I mean, not whip damage. Claire's overall damage. Silly me. Whew. <laughs> you know, really, why do the bats get to fly through walls and not the ghost? I mean, that's kind of what ghosts do, right? Okay, that's one down. Yay, I got their weakness and I just jumped into one of their attacks like an idiot oh boy oh wait a sec ah oh, there we go much better Okay, wait a second. Oh yeah, we need to get up there. Yeah, for some reason, I was thinking that it's gonna move from under me and make me fall down. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be saying real distorted travesty bullshit. But... I'm really looking forward to the day I end up playing Shin Megami Tensei games on this. Not this game, but... You know, emulators or... Actually getting a little PlayStation capture device. Actually getting a PlayStation for that matter. Oh, this room. Three... Two, one, fucking run! Ah, crap. Fail that. Let's try that again. Ah, crap, crap. Run! No. No! I'm not in the Zelda map, and I'm still saying it. Ooh, 
that was close. Just cutting it close, as usual. As close as I can cut it. <laughs> so, yeah. The Big D himself. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, let's have Adam. You have arrived, just as Death said. Did he also mention that we're taking the chip? He alluded to that. But you will not have it. I was really hoping Claire would have have been awesome and said, Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Oh, you would, Jerry. Hopefully, if he gives the proper response... Hopefully, he would give the proper response. Plus, he's totally not wanted in this world, either. According to Jeremy, he should be in... In the vault. I mean, seriously, that whole sequence could be reenacted here and it would still make sense. Wow, you're right. It would make some sense. Well, you're kind of hot when you're not being. Yeah. You had the sense to cut yourself off this time. I know my limits. Sometimes. Hey, now that I think about it, it wouldn't have the same impact without, without the bad voice acting. He has also he also doesn't have his wine glass. I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> and where's our line about humans are miserable piles of Enough talk, how about you? Yes, one line made it back. <laughs> Lord of Darkness A.K.A. Dan Macula. Don Macula? As in like, Don Maku and Dracula? <laughs> okay, Dracula. Here's a familiar fight. You shouldn't have much trouble with this. I'm not, I'm not even seeing anything all that different about it. He teleports first to specific spots on the map and shoots fireballs. And, uh, fireballs. And then, well, more fireballs. <laughs> Don't be scared of this guy. He's got nothing on you. Dracula has never been all that hard in the Castlevania games. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm not sure about uh, considering my playthrough ooh, a portrait of ruin. Okay, yeah, he's not really that tough. DT1 didn't have a lot of direction or focus when and it first started. There was really no rhyme or reason to the boss us encounters that were chosen for roughly half the game. Since the gate gates have very obvious themes, it was only right that Dracula would be here. The initial release to the testers didn't have the big, big flame pillars, and I never said that I added them in later. That was quite a surprise to them. And I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm kind of forgetting about what these, uh, forgetting these pillars, because uh, I sweep through too much. Okay, so let's fight Dracula. Oh, super effective, kind of. Yeah, you don't see that in a lot of Castlevania games, I guess. And I guess the moral of that is you stay close to him. Of course, the Dracula I, I fight in uh, Portrait of Ruin doesn't have those big fireballs. Oh. So yeah, either really far or really close. Whoa. Who oh boy. Whoa, the wine glasses. Whoa. <laughs> Uh-oh.
Okay, be patient. Ow! That happened. You have played other games, right? Sometimes being too far from your opponent can be a bad thing. Okay. Well, <laughs> I almost had my ass burnt to, fr burnt to a crisp. Alrighty. Okay, so far it's so good. No damage. Ow. First hit. Ooh, Drake. Done my kill. <laughs> Ow. Way to block my... Way to block my path. Okay, yeah, just a little patience and not get walled in by the by the fire. There we go. Dracula defeated. An AP level up. You kicked a lot of ass there. Naturally. Hey now. There's only enough room for my for my ego in here. Whatever, Jerry. Where's the chip anyway? Should you be the one that knows? I don't see it here. Chow, can you see it? No, I'm not sure where it is now. Well then, what the hell? Oh, hi, Death. You perform better than expected, but a nuisance you still remain. Ready to fight yet? I am far too busy. If you want the ship, come to my castle. But I doubt that you will make it to me. Oh yeah, Death does have his own castle. A flying castle. A flying moving castle. Why do villains always do this? Great. Now we have to watch Claire and go through even more of this. Like you didn't see th this coming, Jerry. There's a pattern. Okay, so... We just defeated Dracula. I guess that means... This episode is done for now. I will see you guys later. Bye bye Koishi Bros signing off. Wait, Broishi. Whoops.